Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the uh, module 4 of RPA and in that we have totally 5 super important questions which we will be discussing in depth. Watch this video till the end to get to know what all you need to write for the uh, maximum marks in the uh, inter uh, externals. So uh, let's get started without wasting any more time. The first question is um, what are the techniques we can uh, use for wait for a control. And before starting make sure hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and um, <coughs> continuing what are the techniques through which we can wait for a control. See there are totally 3 techniques you have to keep in mind. Uh, for waiting for a control waiting for a control means what if there is something here and it's getting changed uh, we have to wait until the change happens for that we have three things okay what are the three things let's discuss one by one the first uh, thing is the uh, weight element vanish weight element vanish means what we'll be having an element and we'll be assigning that element uh, the weight element vanish when that element gets vanished it will be the weight will be over and something will be executed after that what will be executed after that that we can specify weight image vanish in the same way it will wait till an image gets vanished and when that image gets vanished it will be able to see uh, some other execution weight attribute just waits for some uh, value to become equal like the string value will become equal the key point here is uh, to be noted is the string value of the attribute should become equal okay you have to specify the three values attribute element and text property you have to also specify the uh, which value we have to supply to the uh, value when it gets equal these two attributes then we will get uh, uh, get the actual answer okay so the actual executions of this i have already done in the tutorial watch that <coughs> Moving on to the second super important question, which is explain the mouse activities in UI Path Studio. Mouse and keyboard activities are the most expected question from the exam point of view. So make sure you know this very well. For the mouse, there are three things: click, double click, and uh, hover activity. What are the three things? Click, double click, and hover activity. In the click, you will be just performing one single click. If you are selecting one icon and then you have to, uh, then you again automate it. When you automate it, and at that time, what will happen? This um, icon will get clicked single time. If it's a double click activity, it will click uh, uh, two times. If it's a hover activity, it it will just bring the mouse cursor on top of that it will just hover it okay that was about the mouse activities for more information watch the tutorials for this next we have the keyboard activities in the keyboard activities we have again three things which is send hotkey type into type into secure text send hotkey is nothing but we'll be having an option to send a hotkey for example you can uh, indicate what in what screen you have to send the hotkey means where you have to type the hotkey what is the hotkey alt create a control shift and win and which key you are uh, typing any alphabet or the down arrow or any number if you do this it will be performing that specific operation on that uh, where you will be indicating on screen for example if you type win plus r at that time the run command will open in that you can type any commands right that uh, thing will open type into activity you can type into notepad whatever you want you can specify here indicate on screen notepad so in the notepad that thing will be typed for the last one which is the uh, type into secure text this is used for the password purposes in a password you cannot have the things which is not um, which is uh, visible so that you'll be having a secure text you'll be making a variable called a secure variable inside that variable you'll be storing the uh, things in the form of a string that will not be visible that will be set up in the inbuilt way and when the, just when you will access that variable it will type into a, uh, the place where it has to be typed that variables answer will be typed in the place where it has to be typed that will be secure text okay moving on we have the fourth super important question which is handling of the events very important question listen very carefully that three types of handling of events what are the three types element triggering event image triggering event and system triggering event again further in a uh, system triggering uh, triggering event again there are three things okay we'll discuss each of uh, this in depth so uh, stay tuned element triggering event means what will be having an element and will be triggering it if it gets triggered or clicked or something happens to that it should uh, perform some other action that is known as a trigger it can be either a, a click trigger using a mouse or it can be a keep a trigger or uh, in the image triggering event if something happens to the image we'll get to know that something has happened to the image that is called as image triggering event and for the system triggering event as i told you there are three more things which is hotkey trigger mouse trigger and system trigger hotkey trigger hotkey already we know we have seen the four types of things will be there all shift control and win and a key will be there by using these things you will be triggering something that is called as hotkey trigger mouse trigger and system trigger in mouse trigger you'll be using the mouse to trigger something or you'll be doing clicking double clicking or hover activity system trigger will consist both all the system activities including the uh, both the mouse as well as the keyboard activities okay this all the keyboard events all of the mouse events or both then that was about the uh, different types of handling events super important question from exam point of view make sure you don't miss this one moving on we have the fifth uh, super important question which is the explain the screen scraping in screen scraping what you will be doing you'll be having a screen and you're scraping something out of it if there is a text you will gather a text if there is an image inside that text there will gather that one for that there are three different methods full text native and ocr full text means it will just gather all the text native means it's a bit slower but it will also gather the text position okay where it is 
present in the screen that will be gathered but background text cannot be uh, gathered whereas in full text you cannot get the position but you can gather the background text like that some slight differences are there OCR is used to ga gather the text from the image okay if the image is given the text will be scanned and optical character recognition will happen and it will gather that text that is called as OCR okay so the information is given here how much accurate it is what are the different methods used and where it is used which is the most optimal method and this uh, um, table uh, just uh, summarizes what it is okay like what is the speed here 10 or uh, 10 on 10 for the full text OCR is a bit slower but it can um, gather the hidden text uh, no, not the hidden text it can gather uh, from the image that's the most uh, most advantage of OCR okay so um, an accuracy is also given background execution is given no no for the both and yes for this one extract tricks position hidden text and support for citrix means you can use it in the remote environment only you can use OCR in the remote environment these are the key points you have to write and mention in the answer script make sure you know all these questions very well super important uh, question from exam point of view and that's all for this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one